Our top story at six. After a child, a one-year-old tested positive for methamphetamine, the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department is trying to find out why. Kayla Solomon spoke to a doctor at the hospital where that child was treated. On Tuesday, Captain Chris Bracewell with the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department says they were called to Fairview Park Hospital after a one-year-old tested positive for methamphetamines. As a result, they arrested the child's mother, Brenda Willis, and charged her with cruelty to children. The hospital says, unfortunately, this is not something new to them. We don't do it routinely. We, we do test whenever kids come in with strange behavior, and that has been a little bit of up. Tick. Dr. Trevan Jasper is the co-medical director of Fairview Park Hospital's emergency department. He says they can use a simple urine test for meth, but it could be harder to detect in children. Kids are often creative anyway, so when a kid comes in and possibly have ingested methamphetamines, sometimes they're just more active and more creative than they usually are. He says they can find traces of meth in certain medications, but it's standard procedure to call law enforcement when tests come back positive. It, it, once we get a positive drug screen for a kid, then it gets escalated to Department of Family and Child Services or DFACS. Dr. Jasper says swallowing meth is one thing, but the cooking process is also dangerous and potentially explosive. It can get on clothing. It can get on other things. And when it's on those clothing and that other stuff, it is still explosive and it is still dangerous. So sometimes the only way you'll know is because it's a weird, peculiar smell. In Lawrence County, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. And the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office still trying to figure out how the child got a hold of those drugs.